How we're escaping for lesson plan number one versus lesson plan number two. I always move forward, always. Most of you aren't moving forward at all, at all, right? And so you're still elongated. You're going to get caught, especially if they're decent at jujitsu. You. you will get caught, do you understand? Now, I'm right here. First thing I need to do is I need to reach over and grab a lapel. Doesn't matter which one, I'm just grabbing the lapel. I'm closing my elbow. Because we're reviewing lesson plan number one right now, we told you guys that now what you can do is you can reach over, pin that other arm, the arm that was in trouble, reaches over and pins before he grabs his shin. I lean into him so that I can step, slide my hand to the wrist. Now look, I just tuck my foot and I sit back. Now both of my feet are his armpits. Do you understand? Now here's the great thing about this. I'm sitting nice and straight and tall. So you're gonna have to use a little bit of muscles. Here, do you understand? He's still got his legs locked. Awesome. I can now release his wrist, put hit my hand back on his hips. This is gonna be important for those of you guys that are older in lesson plan number two and three, right? Because if I don't keep his hips pinned, he'll just lift his hips and when I lean back, he'll just follow me and end up mounting me. Do you understand? So I have to keep his hips down. That's super important, you need to know the why. Now I can let go of the top and come here. I'm gonna pull laterally, that means sideways, as I lean back. Ah, it popped open. My hand that was in trouble goes under. I can lean back further if I want to, and then I do this. I've got his legs trapped. Why? Because in lesson plan two and three, you're gonna need to do a different variation. But we're reviewing lesson plan number one, so what do I do? I don't keep him trapped long. I switch my hands, I can put my hand on the ground, push my foot, and I just peel my leg out. I'm just escaping. That's it, nothing else. Variation for second uh, lesson plan and up is slightly different. Watch the differences. We're here, he shoots it. I still move forward. I'm still right here. I come across, you understand? I'm still gonna pin. I'm gonna lean forward. I step and I grab. I also step here. So now I did a full squat, so to speak. I came up off the other knee. Does everybody understand? Yes, sir. From here, everything is pretty much the same. I still go one, I still go two, still gonna go three. Now when I come here, I can grab the far kimono if I want to. I'm keeping this connection tight, which is why I'm leaning this way. You see, look at my elbow and knee connection. That helps keep the legs trapped momentarily. I need to be strong enough to lift my hips so I can tuck my leg under. Now that my leg is tucked under, my weight is currently over here on this side, I'm gonna take it that way. I'm just gonna push my knee across. Now his strength is facing that way. It's a simple thing now to either go underneath the arm, grab, boom, and I'm in. Do you understand? I'm the side control. 